In this video, we'll discuss about the differences between Git and GitHub. Git and GitHub are two terms that are used in an industry on a day-to-day -day basis and sometimes it becomes a bit confusing to know what exactly these two terms are. So this video is mostly focused on providing a better understanding about these two terms and tell the differences about Git and GitHub. As shown in the section, Git and GitHub are two entirely different concepts that are there in the market. Git is a version control system and to be specific, it's a distributed version control system, which means in Git, the changes are not directly pushed to the server. Instead, it is first committed to the local repository and from there it is pushed to central server. Git is installed and hosted on a local system, which means if a single person wants to use a version control system for tracking their changes, they can go and use Git. But Git cannot be used on a larger scale where sharing of code is required. As it's hosted locally, no internet connection is required for the same. Git is mostly a command line tool. Git doesn't provide a GUI for doing all the operations. And as discussed, Git is a version control system and provides source code management. Now let's talk about GitHub. GitHub is designed as a Git repository hosting service. What that means is GitHub is an online database to track and share your Git repositories outside of local system. So there are a lot of Git repository hosting service in the market. Few of them are GitHub, GitLab, etc. Unlike Git, GitHub is exclusively hosted on a cloud platform. Since GitHub is hosted on a cloud platform, the sharing of code becomes way easier using GitHub. GitHub also provides a graphical interface for the user. So it becomes a bit easier for the user who is not that familiar with a command line tool. In addition to it, GitHub also provides many additional features on top of Git. 